Hi, welcome to our new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can clone a private repository that is available in bitbucket.org into our local machine. At first, let us create a private repository in bitbucket.org. Click Create Repository. Enter a project name. Enter a repository name. Ensure private repository checkbox is checked. Include a readme. Let us say yes with a template. Now Include .git ignore. Yes, that is recommended. Now click on create repository. A repository is created now. This repository contains a file called readme.md. Now let us see how we can clone this repository into our local machine so that developers can start development. For this, let us click on clone button here. There are two methods by which we can clone this repository. The first method is HTTPS. The other one is SSH. So let us go ahead with our first method. For this, let us copy this command. Now open a terminal and move on to a desktop where we want to clone this repository. Now let us paste the code and click on enter now. It is now prompting for a password. Let us enter Bitbucket account password. We got an authentication field message. What is the reason? The reason is that Bitbucket Cloud recently stopped supporting account password for GIT authentication. Instead, they are suggesting or recommending us to use app password. That can be, we can create app passwords from personal settings of Bit, of Bitbucket. In order to create an app password, let us move on to Bitbucket and open personal settings. Here we can see app password menu. Click on create app password. Enter a label. Now we have to enter the permissions for the repository. We can give write admin and delete permissions for this app password. After this we have to enter, we have to click on create button. And an app password is created now. We can use this app password to GIT authentication. The important thing is that this app password will not be redisplayed again. So it is always safe to save this new app password in a text file so that we can reuse it later. Let us copy this app password and paste this for GAT authentication. Now the cloning is successful. Let us check it. 
Now a new folder called bar is created. Let us move on to that particular folder. Click on ls. Yeah. A new file is created. This new file is cloned or downloaded from our repository. So cloning of, pri of a private repository using HTTPS method is successful. Let us move on to our second method. Before that, let us delete the newly cloned directory in the local machine. Now, let us open our repository in Bitbucket. Now, click on clone, select SSH, click on copy command and open the terminal, paste the command and click on enter. Here, we are going to clone our repository using SSH method. Now, we got an error message like permission denied. This error message is due to the fact that this user's public key is not set up in Bitbucket. So we have, so at first, let us create a public key private key pairs for this user. In order to create the public key private key pairs, we can use the command ssh hyphen key gen space minus t r s a. Here, RSA specifies the key type. Now, press enter. The file that is going to be saved into the folder .ssh that is located in the home folder of this user. Enter pass, pass phrase. Simply press enter in order to not set the passphrase. Now the keys were generated. Let us move on to that .ssh folder. We can see two files. The first one id underscore rsa is the, is the file that stores the private key of this user and id underscore rsa dot pub stores the public key of this user. Now we have to copy the contents of this public key to the Bitbucket so that let us display the contents of the public key and copy the whole content and store this to Bitbucket. Again move on to personal settings Click on SSH keys, click add key, here let us see, let us enter a label, for example GIT, paste the public key here and click on add key. Now the user's public key is successfully added to the bid bucket. Now let us try again. This is the GIT clone command via using SSH. Now, let us check whether the folder is cloned. Yeah, the bar folder is cloned now. Now that is successful. Great. So, in this tutorial, we have seen two ways by which we can clone a, a private repository that is available in Bitbucket to our local machine. The first method is via HTTPS and the other method is using SSH method. 
Thank you.